Right, so going to try another game here um, and post this one up on YouTube, etc. Got the white pieces here, so let's see how this one goes. Hopefully, better than the first game I posted up. Uh, my opponent from Switzerland, 2255. I normally start with d4, and well, let's see what he does. I'll go knight to f3 now, and he plays the Dutch. Best opening in the world. The cheek of the guy. This this opening the Dutch is uh, something which I always play as uh, black as well. Now I'm going to play the so-called Korchnoi system, which is a way to try to create some chaos on the king's side immediately. And I think, you know, black's perfectly fine here, but at least leads to some quite interesting positions. Um, okay, so we already have a bit of a mess going on. And my opponent has, I expect this is just rather an equal position here. He, he could say his pawns are a little bit weak in the center. I have a nice solid pawn center, but he has a bit more space as well with his knight coming into e4 and stuff like this. So let's just try to keep it simple for now. Take here and get my pieces developed. So my opponent playing very, yeah, I mean, actually bishop d6 was a good move he played now. And now he's going to castle, and I'd, I'd probably prefer to be black here. So I told you the Dutch was a was a great opening. Um, so what do I do? Well, okay, let, let's at least try to get control of the e5 square for my knight. Um, I don't like this so much, though. Definitely not. Um, I want to put a knight on e5, but my opponent's going f4 as well. It looks quite scary for me. Um... Okay, maybe it's a lot worse than I thought this. Okay, I'm just going to develop and, and see see how things go. So knight bd2, and just try to get my pieces out. So, okay, captures. Okay, I'm not so worried about that. My king can go to f1, might be able to hold on like this. As you've probably seen so far, openings are not my um, strongest part of my game. Um, and here, well, Dutch is a great opening. And you can see on my YouTube channel some more videos of the, me playing a Dutch on black and also me explaining some lines in Dutch in some depth. Um, so where did my king want to go here? This is a problem, isn't it? My king. And that is a very, very strong knight there. So what do I play? Okay, well, let's, let's just try... Mm, I don't like this either. To... Uh, castle queenside at some moment i'm not sure how i'm going to do that with my pawn on f2 under pre being attacked um, okay well i'm going to try taking here put my knight on e5 and kick him away of f3 but something seems very suspicious about my position i don't believe my position here at all even rook b8 would be simple and good here and uh and i can just try to hope to get into some middle game positions and my opponent playing very well um, in this game very well at the start and now okay maybe he's going queen h6 check at some point okay so that's a good move I'm trying to open up the center well my one hope is if I don't get checkmated and get the queens off then my knight will be better than his bishop so I need to try to get to an ending here good knight versus bad bishop but I have a feeling that's going to be quite hard to do. Well, let's let's offer one now and see if I can get these guys off. Um, even then, of course, his rook will become quite active. But my knight is a good piece. At least it holds up a number of files here as well. So it's not uh, the end of the world, this position for me. And the good thing is my queen is sort of x-raying his rook on f8 so this might not be so bad for me now i'm just trying to play against this bishop you know all the pieces come off my knight will dominate the ending okay so here hold on what should i play now uh well something like rook to c1 looks natural um i'm not sure if it's the right move to play here though Let's just, I don't know about b3, okay, I'm not sure about anything here. I want to play this to try to, so my queen can move and he can't take on b2 check. Maybe now queen takes a7 as an idea. 
I'm worried about, slightly worried about his queen coming to h4 at some point in, into f2. So uh, I just want to stop him getting control, getting his pieces into my position. You always got to think about your opponent's counterplay when playing. Can't move his queen to h4 at the moment because I take on f8. Um, and maybe I'm going to play h4 next, something like this. And just to try to uh, stop his queen coming in, this might be a useful move. And actually, my position is probably, probably quite good now. In actual fact, um, opening was a bit of a disaster, but he's got a very bad bishop on c8. So here, he's defending his rook, so he wants to get his queen in. So I'm going to play h4 to stop his queen coming to this square. Probably a useful move to me as play as well. And now I'm going to try to get the queens off, of course. You can see now why b3 was useful. My queen can move. And he will certainly try to avoid exchange of queens. Actually, queen to h6 is a good move here. A move I miss. I can take a pawn with check, though, then. And he gets mated. For example, queen h6. I take the pawn check. Okay, so again, now I control the c file. And here... Like I said before, if I can just get the queens off, I've got a very nice position. Queen c6 allows him to check me. Am I scared about that? Probably not too scared, so let, let's play this. My king can uh, come into e3. I mean, it's actually, I think, reasonably safe here because it's defended by my pawns and my knight. And, okay, he's blundered, so we can have the smother and mate checkmate there. Um, okay, so not, not the best of games there. I mean, you can see I was totally outplayed again in the opening. The Dutch, what can I say? Brilliant opening. And this little h3 move was an idea of Korchnoi's, actually. And Korchnoi played with h3 and then g4, which is a very interesting idea. Now, it's very dangerous for black to set the sacrifice on g4 because... If you can picture the position after pawn takes g4, pawn takes g4, knight takes g4, white can play queen to d3, and then there's some serious problems on h7. So that's not the best way to play. Um, and here, well, I certainly didn't pick the good plan here because I just got kind of outplayed. My opponent got a very nice central position and played aggressively with c5, so very nice play. And then he just developed his pieces to the best squares. and. It's never good as white not to have a space advantage, I feel. And in this position, well, black has the space advantage. So that's something I don't like playing against. So then he got rid of my good bishop on f4. And kind of, again, outplayed me totally in the op opening. I mean, maybe taking here wasn't right. I was a bit more scared about him playing f4 here. Let's just go back to that position. He doesn't need to release the tension by taking on d4 around this moment. Um, I think at some point he should have played his pawn on f5 down to f4. That makes a lot more sense. Um, and actually later on, when I'm able to get my knight to e5, he took on d2. Now, okay, this would be good, but he's swapping off a lot of his attacking pieces. And look at my knight on e5. This can stabilize itself there. I'm doing very well. I think he should have gone queen h6 check here and tried to attack me. Because positionally speaking, I'm doing well now. Good knight versus bad bishop. And then as the game developed a bit more, we can see my knight dominating on e5. So, okay, rather a lucky escape, I feel, again there. And i really got to play a little bit better on the openings from now on. But what can you do when you face the Dutch? Not easy.